Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while since I've checked in. I'm just um, feeling a bit remiss in my blogging. So I'm doing a blog. Um, I think we need to come up with another word. It's such a horrible word. I know I've said this before, but blog? I'm going to go do a blog? It sounds like... Oh man, I had Mexican for lunch, and now I'm going to go do a blog. I know that's not the most romantic thing I've ever said on my uh, video presentations here, but it's a horrible word. I think we all can agree, right? So maybe we should have a contest, and everybody, I'll participate. We need a new word, because blog has to go. It's right up there with pus and smegma. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot to report, obviously, or else I wouldn't be off on some tangent about renaming the word blog, but um, I'm here in my studio, I'm, uh, we have that dude behind me, Jailhouse Rock, arguably the best Elvis movie ever. All, my personal favorite is King Creole, because I think he, he gave his best, finest performance in King Creole, 1958. That was 1957, Jailhouse Rock, and it's a fun movie, and it's got great rock songs like Jailhouse Rock and You're So Square, Baby, I Don't Care, which still rules. That song rules. Um, and it's also got this one of my favorite Elvis ballads, Young and Beautiful. I remember even when I was a little kid and I saw the movie on TV. I guess I was kind of a sap even then. I loved a good ballad even then. And Young and Beautiful, if you haven't heard it, go check it out on iTunes. Young and Beautiful, it's a gorgeous song. That's all I'm saying. I am getting ready to start traveling again. It's been nice. I've kind of been home for a bit. Um, it's nice to sit still for a minute. Um, I'm going to New York in a couple of weeks. Well, I'm going to Nashville for Thanksgiving, like I have for the last 24 years, because... Um, my mother-in-law is the greatest Southern cook ever. Edna, the greatest Southern cook on earth. Everything she makes is so good, mainly because everything she makes has a pound of sugar and a boatload of lard, which tends to make things taste good. Um, so I'll be there for Thanksgiving. And then I'm going to go to New York. I love New York. Um, for a couple of days, and then, what's happening? Then it's kind of crazy. Oh, I'm doing this show. I should tell you guys about the show. I'm doing a show in Nashville, December 12th. Um, I'm not, I think it's open to the public. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure where it is. I think it's probably going to be at that place, 3rd and Lindsley, or maybe it's 12th and Porter. I don't know. But I'm, I'm just sitting in with a band called King Billy. They're uh, a new country group, and they have a, their own show on GAC that's sort of like a making the band kind of show. And these guys are young bluegrass players, and they all play multiple instruments. They're just like prodigies. They're all genius musicians. And they seem like really cool guys, so they're going to do their take on a handful of my songs, and I'm just going to sit in and play with them and sing with them. So I think we're going to do Don't Me Nothing and Never Take Me Dancing and Hazard, and um, I think Matt Scannell's going to be there hanging with us. and It's going to be fun, and I think we're filming it for their, for their show. So that's happening, and then Matt and I have a duo show in Minneapolis, December 13th, at the Trocadero. The Trocadero? I think that's what it's called. And then I go to L.A. for a few days to do some work, and see some friends, and then it'll be 2009, before we know it. What else? I'm going to see Bob Newhart tonight. Bob Newhart is doing a stand-up tour. See, I grew up watching the Bob Newhart show. It took place in Chicago, even though it wasn't filmed in Chicago. It took place in Chicago. My dad actually knew Bob Newhart. I've never met Bob Newhart. I'm not meeting him tonight. But I love Bob Newhart. I even love the theme to his show. Remember that? Anybody that's over 38. Um, remember that? Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -da 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 Very swingy, jazzy theme. Bob Newhart's cool, so I'm going to go see him in concert tonight. And it's kind of a boring blog, 
B squared, boring blog. Sorry. Um, I am in the process of figuring out what we're going to do with the emotional remains and sundown CDs to exploit them. It's one of the few times you can use the word exploit and it's not a negative thing. This music needs to be exploited. Um, but I'm also recording. I'm already sort of recording some new stuff for next year. Because I want to just kind of keep putting stuff out. It's a creative time. Why not? Anybody that's sick of me, you don't have to buy it. And uh, I'm doing another record with Matt Scannell. I'm going to produce an album for my buddy Fee Waybill, which I'm really excited about. And um, yeah, I, think, I, I don't want to say too much about what I'm doing because I've learned the hard way. It's like I mentioned in a blog, or maybe I think I mentioned that I wrote with Keith Urban recently and we wrote this killer song and and we both seem to love it and now he's probably not going to record it. So by me mentioning it, see if I'd never said anything it would have been like, you know, nobody would have asked. But I mentioned because I was all fired up and now it's probably never, not even going to get recorded. So I look like an asshole. I still love Keith, but I don't know. What are you gonna do? You know, you can only I, all I can do is go in there and do my best. And people either either want to do the songs or they don't. I can't. I could hold a gun to their heads, but it would be irksome to them. Okay. I'm rambling. Um, just wanted to say hi. I hope everybody's good. Thanksgiving next week is my favorite holiday. It's my favorite holiday. I love Thanksgiving because there's no gifts involved. There's no pressure. It's just being thankful, feeling blessed. I feel very blessed. I hope you do too. Um, I know that it's a tough time for a lot of people out there. And uh, I'm, I feel very optimistic that soon we're going to turn a corner in this country and we're going to be rocking once again. So, uh, happy Thanksgiving, and I will be back in touch, certainly before Christmas. And I hope you guys are all good. And any, everybody that bought the CDs so far, thank you. I love that you like the music. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.